Hello everyone. In today's session we will be discussing how to add and subtract the algebraic expressions. To start with, we will be learning how to add and subtract the terms followed by how to add and subtract the algebraic expressions. So let us take the first example. The first example, we are adding a like terms as the algebraic factor is x and x here. We are just, I am just expanding the same. Each of the term. Now this, I can write in this manner also. This is a distributive law applied. Now distributive law also applies to the variables because variable in turn are also a numbers. This gives me or 7x in general. So this way 3x plus 4x will give a result of 7x. Now let me try one more example with a subtraction. To subtract, let us first expand this. I hope you still remember that the terms can only be added in an algebraic expression. So I have put this minus 4 plus in. This gives us 3n. Similarly, you can, you can try this also. It would give me plus 4 plus 2. The result would be So here we have talked, we have taken three examples for the like terms. So in like terms, the sum of two or more like terms is a like term whose numerical coefficient is equal to the sum of the numerical coefficient of all the terms. So I hope this is clearly understood. Similarly, when I talk about the difference, the difference between the two like terms is a like term with the numerical coefficient equal to the difference between the numerical coefficient of the terms. So this is clear to you. Let me talk about unlike terms. Unlike terms cannot be added or subtracted. If I have a term like this, there cannot be further simplification in this. Same way, if I have a term like this, I cannot add these two terms to simplify. So this gives me an example of how like terms can be simplified to further uh, terms and how unlike terms remain as it is and there cannot be further simplification for the same. So this gives an example of how we are adding and subtracting terms. Moving to the further topic of how to add and subtract general algebraic expressions. Now, we already are aware how to add and subtract the terms. So, if we have given an example of this 3x plus 11 and we are asked to add this with 7x minus 5, all we have to do is group them and add with the like terms. So, in this example, you can see that this is the like term grouped and this is one more like terms which are grouped. So the solution would be do the simplification of the like terms, do the addition between the like terms. So here the addition between the like terms will be 3x plus 7x would give me 10x and the addition between 11 minus 5 would give me 6 
So this will be my resultant answer of adding 3x plus 11 with 7x minus 5. I hope this is clear. Let me take one more example on how to add this. This is actually the right time for you to pause and try it on your own also. Now here you can see if I group them to group the like term together, I have a first group of 3x plus 7x, a second group of 11 minus pi and a second third group of 8z with nothing in the denominator or nothing in the second term. So I will say it's just a 0 and now if I add the two, the like term 3x plus 7x forms 10x, 11 minus 5 will form 6 and 8z will remain as it is because it is added with 0. So this will be the resultant answer when I add 3x plus 11 plus 8z with 7x minus 5. After going through addition, let us take one example for the subtraction. Now here we have to subtract a minus b from 3a minus b plus 4. So let us start, write 3a minus b plus 4 and then write a minus b. To subtract, the rule is change the first sign to addition and then the coefficient, numeric coefficient, the sign for the numeric coefficient should be inversed. So here as a is positive, I will inverse the sign with negative. As minus b is negative, I will inverse the sign to plus b. And here anyway we don't have anything, so not required. And now we should start the addition. So 3a minus a will give me 2a. Minus b plus b will give me 0. And plus 4 with nothing here or say 0 here will give me plus 4. So the answer to this would be 2a plus 4. Let me repeat this subtraction because it is little uh, tweaky. 3a minus b plus 4. We have to uh, subtract a minus b from this number. So what we are doing is we are writing 3a minus b plus 4 and then we are saying a subtraction sign for this a minus b from the above number and the rule for subtraction is we have to add and to add what we are doing is we are just inversing the signs for all the terms. So here we are inversing the sign making it minus because here we have a as positive we mean negating it minus b is negative here so will be positive uh, or making it positive so now if i want to add this what it will be 3a minus a so this gives me 2a plus minus b minus b will give me 0 plus 4 okay the same example you can solve in this method also i have the first term 3a minus b plus 4 now as i have to subtract the term a minus b from the first term what I will be doing is I can put 3a minus b plus 4 to an addition let this minus b inside so this will be minus into minus of positive a will be giving me minus a and this minus of minus b will giving me plus b so this will give me 3a minus a plus minus b plus b plus 4. So this gives me 2a plus 4. This is another method of solving the same example. I hope that this is clear to you how to add and subtract the terms and how to add and subtract the algebraic expressions. Thank you.